Yay! <laughs> Happy birthday. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Now for the big surprise. Oh. Close yeah. your eyes. Oh, all right. Keep them closed. Okay. And follow me. Oh, all right. <laughs> into the living room. All right, stay right here. All right. No peeking. I'm not peeking. Give me just a minute. <coughs> All right, and walk right over here and have a seat. All right. Wait a minute. This is another episode of Alf. <laughs> Going to the kitchen, getting a knife, and killing myself. Oh, no. I'm saving that for later when I try to make the whoopee to you upstairs. <laughs> you are a very sick man. I should have listened to my mother. <laughs> I should have listened to your mother. She told me not to marry you, said you were stubborn. I don't know what you're talking about. I know what this is. Do you? <laughs> yes. You know what this sound is? Oh, Michael. Is that our old console? I thought you sold that a long time ago. I bought a used one. Oh, this is, oh, this is just awesome. Good surprise? <laughs> Very, very. Of course, if you don't mind getting humiliated before bedtime. Oh, the trash talking starts. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me tell you something, babe. <laughs> yeah. Better be bringing the A game, because you're going down. Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> Who is that? Telemark. Got an idea, though. Mm. Let's take a cruise. You got it. We'll go just as soon as I'm done kicking your butt. No, I'm serious. We always want to go to Bermuda. Let's just do it. Let's, uh, let's not talk about that, okay? Let's just keep playing. I talked to Dr. Patel, and he said as long as it wasn't longer than three days. Look, we've been through this before. We don't have the money. I know that, but I was thinking that... Uh, you know, used a savings account. It was for a rainy day, and kind of looks like it's raining. Well, you know what that money's for. We'll be fine. It's not that much. Plus, we got the... We'll be fine, okay? Funerals are expensive, Michael. Don't talk about that, Susan. You'll be around a long time. All I'm trying to do is to finally have some fun with each other, you know? Have some good memories. Plus, we always got life insurance. We have lots of good memories. So many. Don't worry about that. We've, we've had 30 years of our marriage and our life in this house. Oh, honey. You, you talk like it's over. It's not over, okay? They're going to find a donor. Just wish, you know, just... Damn, you know, just could, I could have studied a little harder in college, you know, been smarter, being able to provide for you a little better, have a new house. Hell, our car doesn't even work. You know, you, you deserve, you deserved so much better than me. No, don't talk like that. You are the best thing that's ever happened to me. Honey, look at me. Look at me. Hey, we are not going to be one of those types of couples who who always wondering, did I do enough? Did I say enough? Did she, did she know I loved her? No? We're not going to be that. There is nothing, there's nothing I want more in this world. Nothing. Well, I could have done more about the kids. No. Adoption, something. No. There's nothing missing in my life. And listen. When I die, I want you to take that little bit of money that we have saved, and I want you to do something you've always wanted to do. We're going to find a donor. You hear me? Come on, let's go to bed. I need to clean the kitchen first. No, just, just leave it. Come on. It's a spoil. <laughs> so what?
Honey, you okay? Honey? Oh, no. No, God, no. Hang in there, baby. We're gonna get some help. We're gonna get some help. We're gonna get some help. No, 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 no. Hang in there, baby. Hang in there. Come on, baby. Hang in there. I got you. I got you. Come on. We're gonna get some help. Let's go. Hang in there, sweet. Let's go. Easy does it. Almost there. Let me get this. Got it? Can I get you anything? You want the remote? I'm gonna go downstairs and fix some lunch. You thirsty? Hungry? Can I get you anything? I'm just tired. I know, but you do need to eat something. You look tired too. Well, I'm gonna make a sandwich and then I'm coming back and I'm gonna get back in bed with you. I'm tired of us being tired. Just get some rest, sweetie. I'll bring your book back up to you and we just have a relaxed day, okay? Oh, here's your phone. In case you need anything. Mr. Miller, this is Veronica from the Abri Mortgage Group. Sir, we're calling because you're now four payments behind, and at this point, we're about to begin the foreclosure process. It is very important that we speak with you. I see you noted in the account not to disturb your wife because of her condition, but we're going to have to since we can't contact you. Thank you. Shit. Hello? Yes, this is she. Really? I'll talk to her. Let me talk to her. Okay. Yes, yes, I will. Thank you. That was Dr. Patel's office. They found a donor. Well, it starts in two weeks. First a month of really bad chemo, and then a year of anti-rejection drug treatment. Well, it's worth it. I'll be there. I don't want you to be there. What are you talking about? I'm not gonna leave you. No, I, I want you to be there, I just, Michael, I need you to promise me something. If I'm going to allow myself to hope, you're going to have to do the same. I got hope. You know, I was there. I was the one that said they'd find a match, remember? Yeah, no, Michael, you're not the one with hope. You lost it a long time ago. 
If you were the one with hope, you wouldn't be talking about a cruise when we can't afford to pay for the house. Hope's got nothing to do with it. You want to go on a cruise? Michael, we're going to lose the house the year we're supposed to be done paying for it because you are so intent on me enjoying life before I go. Don't you see that every time you suggest doing something that we haven't done before, you, what you're really saying is you don't think I'm going to make it. It's not like that, and I know you're going to make it. I miss us being normal. We don't even argue anymore. We always go along with everything I say. You know what scares me more than dying? That 30 years of our life, all the good times, everything we've gone through, all the memories, this house, can be undone in such a short amount of time. This life was enough for me. Is our life enough for you? Should have worked less. Spent a little more time. Oh, just... no. You have many more years. Just, look, be with me at the hospital, but not all the time. Go back to work full time. Use our savings to pay for the house. Let's keep living. Hey, sweetie, you want me to uh, pack some of your old books? Well, I was thinking we could stop by the bookstore on the way there. I'd be meaning to start a new series. Good idea. Hey, you think they'll let us plug the PS2 into their TV? I'll make it work. You want me to pack it? Oh, that'd be great. I'm on it. Mr. Miller, Mr. Miller, I'm Stan Gordon. Hey, look, bud, it's not a good time. You know, we're about to leave, and if it's about the mortgage payment, I already paid one oh, payment, I'm no, not gonna... No, no, dear boy, I'm not here to take your money. I'm not with a mortgage company. I'm here to give you some money. Like and I said, it's, no, it's not a good time. I promise. It will take no longer than a minute. It's easier to discuss inside. Oh. It's been a difficult morning. I went to the wrong house. It's very embarrassing. And I lugged this heavy stuff two blocks to find you. <sighs> Not easy at my age. Not that I'm complaining. I do still have my health. What's this about? <laughs> Mr. Miller, I'm with the Life Insurance Company. It's about your wife's policy. <laughs> <coughs> you for a glass of water. One minute, I promise. As soon as I'm done with that glass of water, I'm out of your life forever. Sure. Much obliged. Kitchen's in there. The kitchen's over here. Feel it as soon as I came in. Feel what? How long have you two lived in this house? I don't know, man. Like 30 years since we first got married. I don't know. Oh, there's just something about a house. It takes on the personality of the people that live in it. I could feel it right away when I came in. You two have had a very full life here together. Thank you. 
tap water's all we got. Oh. Hope that's okay. Perfect. Thank you. Oh, I remember when they were building these houses. It was all open fields back then, and they had so much trouble growing anything. I don't know. This house is over 150 years old. Hmm. Well, you must be right. Mr. Gordon, I don't want to be rude, but what's going on here? <sighs> Mr. Miller, on behalf of the company, I would be the first to tell you how sorry I was to have heard about your wife, Susan. Now, I know no check could possibly replace her. And though it may be an inopportune time for a visit, I pride myself in giving our clients what they need most when they need it the most. So, if I could have your signature here and your initials here, I'll be happy to hand over this check for $100,000 for your wife's life insurance policy. I'm confused. What is this all about? Well, it's the payment on your wife's life insurance. May she rest in peace. <laughs> it's got to be a major mistake here because my wife hasn't passed away. Hey, Michael. Have you seen my... Oh, oh I'm sorry. Ma'am, please. There's no need for embarrassment. The embarrassment is all mine, I assure you. Stan Gordon, I'm with the life insurance company. I'm so glad to see my visit is premature. Michael, what's going on? He's with the life insurance company. He thought that you... I'm afraid that they're not going to take this kindly down at the office. Second time it's happened. Oh, well, I won't take any more of your time. I am terribly sorry about this. Oh, I suppose it's the excuse they'll use to finally get rid of me. Oh, well. Thank you. Sure. Anything we can do to help? Actually, there might be one way. What's that? If you two would perhaps let me show you our new product. Oh, you folks. Take no time at all. Just listen and sign a few documents. You saw the presentation and I can tell my superiors I use my time wisely and perhaps get to keep my pension. Well, Michael, Dr. Patel did say we could get there whenever. I'll go get dressed. Beautiful, isn't it? What is it? <laughs> Let me ask you a question. Have you ever walked into a place and knew right off the kind of people that live there? Just from the feel of the place. Well, of course you have. Everyone has. <sighs> well, I was telling your husband earlier. I walked in here and I felt it right away. The house, it takes on the image that the people that live in it. And, well, you can go in any room and feel the two of you. What's that got to do with the box? <clears throat> well, Mr. Miller, our company prides itself on paying on time. Sometimes too well. <laughs> but we hate it. We don't want people to die. We want people to live. Our researchers discovered that all the feelings you've had, all those memories, are embedded in the walls. I'm having a hard time trying to comprehend where all this is going. <laughs> well, let me put it like this. I've heard it compared to sound. Sound, oh, it never goes away. Sound is trapped in the atmosphere forever. And the same with emotions and memories. They get trapped in the walls. <coughs> oh. 
Why is it so hard for you to believe that emotions and memories are measurable things and they affect us so much? <laughs> Why is it so hard for you to believe there may be things in life bigger than your limited mind can comprehend? All right, I'm done. <laughs> Mr. Gordon, what exactly are you, are you trying to sell us? My dear, I'm offering you life. How can this box give us life? I can't believe you're actually believing all this crap, really. This box is truly a miracle. It draws the energy from the walls and transfers it back into you. It's like one of those cash reward cards. <laughs> I had one once. I used it for meals and such. I had no idea there were points involved. And then one day I got a letter telling me I had 10,000 points about to expire. <laughs> I went through that catalog. It was all junk. But I did get a toaster oven for 9,000 points. <laughs> well, it's the same thing here. You've been making deposits into this house for 30 years. This box allows you to take your cash rewards. And the best thing is it won't cost you a penny. You simply trade the policy for the box. All right, there it is. Yeah, we're done. Good luck to you. But uh, I think you mentioned something about some paperwork we need to sign. Mr. Gordon, can this box Cure me. No, ma'am. But it can prolong your life. And isn't that why we do anything? Maybe, but I also think that you have to have hope. And frankly, I just don't trust you. And I don't trust the consequences that might come along with using this box. I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to agree with my husband on this. So, please excuse us, but we, we have an appointment that we really need to keep. Oh, just... It was great meeting you. Don't forget your little satchel. We don't want you to have to come back. My card. In case your situation changes. What a scam. <laughs> Are you kidding me? People fall for that crap? Yes. What was he saying? Uh, it sucks the life out of... <laughs> I'm calling the insurance company in the morning, I promise you. Oh, well, promise me that you will not call that man no matter what happens and tear up that card and forget all about it. <laughs> Believe me, no problem. <laughs> so I'm gonna go finish packing, okay? Okay. Did you get everything? I think so. Okay. All right. Oh, hey, hold on a second. Oh. Dr. Patel. Hey, doctor. Yeah, we were just about to head out. Oh, okay. No, no, I understand. Hey, doc. What's going on? Michael, this is Dr. Patel. I'm sorry, but I have bad news. The donor has changed her mind. She is no longer interested in going through with the procedure. What are you talking about? It's not even a painful procedure, right? It's just simple. Um, why won't she do it? Sadly, Michael, sometimes these things happen. This is all voluntary, and there's really nothing we can do on our side to convince someone to donate. Does this woman realize she's killing my wife? She's killing my wife. Michael, as I was explaining to Susan, the good news is that we were able to find one match and we are very likely to find another. I'd like you guys to still come in for your chemo tonight. 
Okay. Thanks, Doc. We didn't think they'd find the first one. We didn't think that was possible. They'll find another one. Or this donor might change her mind. Let's just go get a bite to eat and go to the hospital. Dr. Patel wants you to do another round of chemo. I'm not going back. It's not that big a deal. I'll be there with you. We'll do it together. I'm not going back. I'll just call Dr. Patel and tell him you need a break. You know, we go tomorrow, maybe the next day. No, I'm done. I'm not going back. What are you talking about, honey? You have to. No, I don't. Susan, if you don't. I know. I'll die. <laughs> That's not going to happen. They're going to find another donor. You can take that round of chemo. Time to let me go. I'm not letting you quit. No, it's... Please, Michael. Just, just let me go. I'm just so tired. I miss my parents, you know? I want to see them again. You. Baby, I'm right here. I'm right here. No, I see. I, I miss you smiling. And I miss when you would come home at night and <laughs> all sweaty from a hard day's work, you know, and you'd come into the house and dream about building an addition and talking about going out on your own and just. You being happy, I just, I just want to see you happy again, Michael, please. Please just let me go. I just listen, can't. Listen, listen, listen. All those things, I can't do it without you. Hello? Uh, hello, this is uh, Michael Miller. I was trying to reach Stan Gordon. Uh, you came to our house this afternoon uh, by mistake. Um, just wondering if we could get a little more information on that machine you showed us. Uh, I don't know if I believe if, you know. Hello, Michael. Oh, you're there. <laughs> I was expecting to leave a message. Uh, I don't sleep much. What can I do for you, Michael? Well, we were wondering if we could get a little bit more information on that box you showed us. Uh, you and your wife made it clear you weren't interested. Uh, we just need a little more information. Are you still there? Hello?
believe it's two o'clock in the morning. Do you want me to come in, Michael? Look, Mr. Gordon, I don't know what I'm doing. I understand, Michael. Michael, do you know what the biggest drug in America is? Life. Life is the biggest drug. And we're all addicted to it. You are. I am. Everybody is. We spent money on organic food, money on gyms. What is it all for? Just to try to live a little bit longer. A week. A month. A year. Ten years. But how's all this possible? Michael, do you know how the internet works? No, not how to use it, but how it works. Exactly. It just does. You connect to it. You're riding the waves of technology. But you don't know how it works. You just know that it does work. That's the same with this box. You connect this end to your spouse. You connect this end to an outlet. in any room you want. And then, all that energy is trapped in these walls and obviously they're not using it, is transferred into your wife. There's really nothing to it. What's the catch? Do you want me to take it away? No. Look, I'm not going to connect something to my wife and don't even know what the hell it is. I'll tell you what I'm going to do for you, Michael. The first use, completely free. Test it. Reuse it if you're satisfied. Oh, but that includes our transaction, the life insurance money for this box. You, you don't even have to see me again. Well, I'll, I'll know if you used it a second time. <laughs> you know, you'll only, you'll only see me again if you decide against it. What is this thing connected to Wi-Fi or something? Uh, yeah, something like that. <laughs> Now, in the spirit of full disclosure, there are a couple of minor side effects. Nothing dangerous, my boy. But if you use the box where you connect the nodes to your wife, it's going to leave a mark. It's not painful. It's just visible. So I suggest you avoid the face and the throat. Number two. Once the energy has been drawn from the house, that's it. It's done. It doesn't get recaptured. And three, and this is the most important. You tell me I can't feed her after midnight, I'm done. <sighs> this is really important. This dial. It indicates the number of year, years you've used. I'd suggest set it to one or two. When the energy is drawn and you can't get any more out, set it back a couple more years. But under no circumstances, go past 30. This house is 150 years old. Are you listening to me? Under no circumstances do you go past the 30 years you've lived in this house. You don't know who lived here before or what they were like. Huh. You have one week to commit. 
There are a lot of people interested in this. I'm doing you a huge favor. Why do you look so gloomy, Michael? Isn't this what you want? To spend a few more years with your wife? Isn't that what the bone marrow transplant would have done? Good night, Michael. Trial commences. No, 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 no. I hadn't used it yet. I hadn't used it. I... Finally. I thought I was gonna have to bounce on you to wake you up. On second thought, I think I will bounce on you. <laughs> what? You look like you've seen a ghost. 
You feel okay? I feel great, yeah. Why? How do you feel? You okay? <laughs> feel better now. <laughs> Good, because I need you. Hey, you want to go shopping with me? I want to pick up some paint samples for the guest bathroom. Sure. Um, okay. Michael, what are all these medicines for? They're yours. I can see that. They've got my name on them, but... I don't remember taking them. You don't, you don't remember. You have cancer? Oh, Michael, I think I would know if I had cancer. What are you talking about? I don't feel sick. You have cancer, leukemia. You diagnosed about one, one year ago. When did I go to the doctor? What's going on? Look, nothing. Just forget about it, okay? Let's just go out and get some fresh air, go get some lunch, and I'll tell you everything. I think we should talk about this first. Just trust me, okay? I'll tell you about it over lunch. I'll go, I'll go wait by the front door. Okay. What's wrong? Susan, what's wrong? The bathroom. It's finished. But, but the walls. That's one of the colors that I was going to choose today. That my mother's favorite color. But you just finished the drywall yesterday, Michael. How can the bathroom be finished? Hey, let's just go outside and talk, okay? Hey, Michael, what's happening to me? I'm really scared. There's no reason to be scared. I can explain everything. Let's just go outside. Come on. But you know, this is going to have to be the mother of all explanations for me not to be really scared. All right, ready. How do I look? Great. <laughs> mm. oh, I think I should color my hair again. I think I should go lighter. Jeez, Michael, you look more scared than I am. Let's just go outside. Easy. What? Easy. Easy? What do you mean, easy? I'm all right, I'm all right. Ugh. Susan? Susan! Hang on. Susan. Susan. What? What happened? Oh, ah, I must have fallen asleep. You know, I was having the weirdest dream that... Michael, what have you done? I had to. What is that box doing here? I don't want to lose you. Michael, that's the box from the old man. Please tell me you didn't make a deal with him. Please, Michael. I was going to hide it, then I didn't. I want you to know. And you used it on me without even asking me. Why would you do that? Did I have a choice? You're going to quit. Michael, that's a decision that we needed to make together. We, you can't just hook me up to some machine we don't know anything about. That's the problem, together. Was I involved in your little decision yesterday to give up, quit the chemo? What about us? Why don't we make that together? It's not a cure. It's an extension. That's what we wanted anyway. No more chemo. We don't have to go a whole nother year of anti-rejection drugs. Just plug it in and that's it. Gives you life. Oh, 
Then you didn't have to use the savings, Susan. Cannot be completed as dialed. Please consult your. Your call cannot be completed as dialed. Please consult your. Your call cannot be completed as dialed. Please consult your... As I said already, we don't have any record of an agent named Stan Gordon. Can I please have your policy number? Uh, yeah, my policy is uh, 7849924732473. Okay, I found it. Uh, we're so sorry for your loss, Mr. Miller. Was there a problem with the amount of the check? No, I never got a check. You tried to give me a check. Well, it says here that you cashed the check in person, and we have your signature and initials on the paperwork. It, I never got a check. I never signed any paperwork. My wife's still living. Mr. Miller, insurance fraud is a very serious crime. If you cashed the check knowing she was alive, that is a federal offense. Is your wife deceased, or is she not? Look, I don't have to sit here. Hang up, Michael. I want to try it again. Well, it appears I made a mistake. I'm sorry I called. So how do you use it? I think we need to talk first. We will. Well, we'll talk later. I just, right now I want to know everything about this box. Like, what is this dial for? This dials up the number of years to be abstracted. This light here tells you how much energy is in the room. If it's green, it's full. If it's yellow, it's borderline. If it's red, it's empty. How is it that no one else knows about this? Well, I have my theories, but none of them are good for us. Are there any side effects? You tell me. Well, I noticed two sets of marks on my left ankle. I don't really remember the first time, but I remember the second time. I want to try it again, Michael. I want to try it again right now. Here, try my right ankle. Susan, I don't think we need to use the box again. Well, you already bought it. Come on. Two years has already been used up in this room. Let's go back four years. Are you sure? It was a good year. Susan. Susan. Oh. oh, I must have dozed off. I'm sorry. What were you saying? I'm not sure. Oh, no, no, I remember. You were telling me how the Johnsons kept arguing about the plans for the addition. How did you ever get them to, to agree on anything? 
Sweetie, hmm. we were talking about using the box. What box? Oh. It's just so real. It's like a dream. It's like a, a vivid dream. I mean, I, I, I know I'm, I'm 52 and, and I'm sick, but, it, but I really felt like I was 48 and, and well. I even see myself at 48. It's so weird. I mean, I, I know I've lost my hair, but I can feel it. It's so weird how four years changes you. It's like I can see the future. I know that I'm going to get cancer. And it makes me sad, but at the same time, it's like it's, it's just so far into the future. And you look different, too. Yeah, you look different to me. But no, don't worry. Men always get more handsome with age. <laughs> oh, God, you know, I'm going to go dancing. Oh, God. Dancing? Yeah. You have been dancing since the first year we were married. Oh, I got to burn off some of this energy, you know? I am going to go get all dolled up. Oh, Michael, you have to use this box. Wow. <laughs> I need to go change. <laughs> No, 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 you look perfect just the way you are. Are you sure you want to go out? I think we rushed it a little bit last time. You even know where to go dancing. Well, you can look it up on your smartphone thing. Uh, you got one of those too. I do? Oh, I guess I do. There Maybe you I'll go. look it up. How do you use this thing again? Let's go have some fun. Oh, oh. What is it? I don't know. What's wrong? I don't know. Are you okay? I can't leave. Michael. I felt all the energy in my body just get yanked out of me as soon as I stepped off the porch. It felt like I was dying. Why? I, I don't know anything you think about that. Well, what did he say? Nothing, just... You'd have some marks on your skin and some bull butter about the, you know, the walls not working after you used up the energy, but nothing about getting trapped. Only thing you made a big deal about was you just couldn't go past 30 years. He said our house was over 150 years old, but don't go past the years you lived there. That's it. Well, what about how I'm reliving the past whenever I use it? Did he say anything about that? Michael, am I trapped here? I don't know, Susan. I mean, I don't know. Well, we can't use the box again. We're gonna put it away until we know how, how it really works. <laughs> Sweetie, you okay? Sweetie? <laughs> oh, baby, what's going on? What's going on? I have some bad news. My mom passed away. Susan, you gonna use it in a box again? Box. You know what a box. I can't believe you're talking about a box when I just told you my mom died. Both my parents are gone. It doesn't mean anything to you. Maybe that was eight years ago. What are you saying? I think you're 52 years old. I have cancer. And it just happened. 
And I can't go to the funeral because I can't leave this house. You did this to me. Baby, you went to the funeral. <laughs> we both went to the funeral, remember? We weren't going to use the box again. I was weak. But I'm fine now. Honey, you in there? Yeah. What, you need something? No, I'm good. Just checking. Honey, I'm stepping out. Where are you oh, going? Good Lord, you scared the shit out Aww. of me. Aw. <laughs> Where are you going? I got a bit on a job, a little bathroom remodel. It won't take long. Oh, good. You should go back to it. Hey, but I made breakfast. I ain't got time. Only got 45 minutes to get there. You know, 94 is going to be packed. Oh, yeah, I know. It's a shame they haven't finished building that exit. They finished exit. Fifteen years ago. I know. I'm just messing with you. Okay. <laughs> Won't be long. Okay. Okay. Move on. Move along, little doggy. Move along. How was your day? Good. Oh, good. You? Great. I figured out so much. Mm. I baked. Good to see you, baby. See you too. I'm not 22, by the way. I know that. I'm 52. Well, at least I think I am. Gosh, I hope I'm not any older. Oh, Michael, the box. Let me tell you about the box. I figured so much out. I was really careful, though, because like, if I can set the box by the back door, I can actually go out into the backyard like a couple of feet, right? Well, you know, I, I got to show you. Let, let, me, let me just show you. Actually, can you grab the box? I, I, this room kind of gives me the creeps. Michael, hurry up. I want to show you how it works. Oh, shit. Okay. I know what you're thinking. Why don't we just take it along with us, right? How'd you find it? They called to me. Well, bring it over here. I want to show you how it works. Now, try to take it outside. You used up all the energy in the living room. Oh, I guess that would explain all the pies I baked. You look, just stop being such a worry wart. Now, just try this. Try to take it outside. <gasps> See? See? It's stuck. Right. Now, 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 walk back into the house. Now, walk back in. See? See how it works? Ah, go ahead, have a seat. Eat your cake. What do you think? Ah, eat your cake. It's your dinner. See, now there's, there's something else that I figured out. If I don't look at the box right after using it, it's as if I've literally gone back in time. I mean, I remember nothing of the future. It's wonderful. It's as if I've never gotten sick and I look amazing. But then I see the box and all the memories just start coming back to me. It's an anchor. Isn't that great? Baby, you used 30 years in a living room. Well, so the house is like 150 years old. Baby, listen to me. You can't go beyond 30 years. He warned us about that, remember? 
fine. We won't go past 30 years. I mean, there are a lot of rooms in the house, right? I mean, I haven't even started working on the bedroom yet. I was thinking, actually, maybe we could use it together. Listen to me. How can I use it? If I use it, I can't leave the house. If I can't leave the house, how are we gonna eat? Well, can't you use that, 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 that the WWW thingy on your computer and like have food delivered? Oh, Michael, I forgot the best part. When you don't see the box, it's like, oh, it's like this rush. Because I, I actually think that I'm there. But it's almost impossible to do because, because then you see the wires and it just goes right back to the box and then buzz over. I could just go back a year and take the calories off. <laughs> Susan. Actually, Michael, you know what I was thinking? Is that um, maybe you can help me hide the box. See, the box makes you go, go to sleep when you use it, right? So while I'm asleep, you can take the wires off me and then hide it away somewhere. That way I'll always think that I'm back in the past. Wait, that reminds me. Who's Dr. Pastel? I saw your uh, that uh, pager thingy buzzing over there, and, and it said Dr. Pastel on the screen. You mean Dr. Patel? Oh, no. He's your oncologist. You got cancer. What'd he say? I don't know. Who cares? Mrs. Miller, hi, this is Nancy from Dr. Patel's office. Mm. Great news, we have found another donor. Please call us as soon as possible to schedule your appointment. They found a match. Okay. Maybe once you get it, you can't leave the house. I'm fine with that. We've got the box. You used 30 years of energy in one room in less than three days. Well, there are plenty of rooms in the house. Baby, you could have been cured. You could have been fine. But I'd still be old. Luckily, you were the one who got the box for me. Jesus. If you just try it once. It's almost all gone. Every room I check. Hey, Michael, so you just, you don't understand because you haven't used it yet. I'm young again. You can be young again, too. We can start over. I don't want to start over. Come on, let's, let's just take it up to the bedroom and use it together. No, we got to get rid of it. Michael, we can't. What are you doing? I'm destroying the damn thing. No, no, I'll die. Susan, you don't know that. Michael, this box gives me energy to survive. If you destroy it, you'll kill me. Come on. Let's just, let's just take it upstairs. 
I can't. I'm sorry, I can't. Okay. You're right. You're absolutely right. We'll just, we'll hide it away. We'll put it away back upstairs. I don't want to lose you. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. <coughs> don't. <coughs> I know. Something wrong? No, no. It's just, it's just different. You know, Susan, I won't understand. I mean, it's not a big deal. It's just that I just feel like I'm visiting. I mean, I see the pictures and. It's like I'm looking at someone else, someone I used to know. Baby, I'm so sorry. That's all right. Listen, I'm beat. You want to go to bed? I'm going to clean up first. I'll come up after. Nah, don't worry about that. Take care of it in the morning. No, nah, it's not going to take me long. All right. Hey, don't get yourself too tired. You've got work to do. This crap.
I wouldn't do that, Michael. Unless you want your wife to vanish. I don't know who you are or what kind of game you're playing, but we're done. You hear me? Done. You can have the damn box. Keep the money. But I want my wife back. I'm not evil, Michael. You know who is evil? God is evil. He gives you life. He lets you enjoy it for a while. And just when you feel like you're finally getting the hang of it, wham, he takes it away. Like that. No warning. One day you're alive and the next, it's over. People try to prolong it, but no one can. I offer people control. You're, you're not going to get away with it. I'm going to get my wife back, and then I'm going to find you, and I'm going to take this box and shove it right up your... Michael, I'd watch my back if I were you. Oh, the hell with this. No, damn it! Damn it! What were you doing in the basement? I was just trying to fix things. Don't worry. Things will get better soon. There you are, sleepyhead. How are you feeling? <clears throat> you know what? I feel really great. Perfect. You want some breakfast? I think I'm going to get a shower first. I'll be down after. Where do you think you're going? <laughs> you caught me. I was just going down to the site, check things out. I won't be long. It's Sunday. Why don't you stay home? Well, it's a lot easier for me to check things out when no one's there. Well, you should at least have breakfast before you go. That's the deal. I got a better idea. You know, the complex's park is finished. Won't you come with me? We'll check things out together. How about that? No. I think I'll stick around here today. Well, yesterday you said you wanted to come. Did I? Oh, I have a few things I want to try out here instead. Why don't you stay here with me? I won't be long, I promise. Plus, I need to go by the pharmacy. I got to get some quarters on. I got some kind of bug bite, poison ivy. I don't know what's going on with that. Hmm. Hmm. Well, anyway, I got to go. I'll be back. What? I'm sorry. <laughs> For what? Oh, honey, don't quit worrying. Your mother's gonna be fine. Doctor says she's doing a lot better. <laughs> All right. You have a good day.
Susan. you do? Don't you worry now. Oh, 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 oh. There you go. There we go. Oh, Come on. Come on, big boy. Come on. This way. This way. Here we go. Up. Up. Ooh. Come on. It's going to be all right. Right now. No, you're going to feel better soon. I saved the best years for you. feel great all the time. And you won't try to destroy it anymore. Are you even listening to me? What? Typical. <clears throat> you know, I've been thinking that uh, big development they've been talking about in the paper. I think I'm going to bid on it. You know, I've been doing a lot of the work around the house. Practicing, I can get the permit, get a lawyer, incorporate. Who knows, maybe I can start my own construction business. What do you think? What? I thought you'd be excited. Everything's always about you, isn't it? I'm here by myself, day in and day out. You won't even let me get a driver's license. You have a driver's license. You have your own car. You can go anywhere you want to. No music, cafe me ole no mera. I didn't understand a damn word you just said. Should be all set. Thank you very much. All right, don't forget to give me a review, okay? Oh, you bet. Nine stars, absolutely. And <laughs> ten if you keep that handsome smile of yours. You have a great day. Hold on, who was that? What? We needed groceries. Neither of us can leave the house. I can go do that. Why can't you? It must be nice not to know what's going on. You know, I don't want to know what's going on. I got errands to run. Oh, don't you try to leave. I'm tired of carrying your fat ass upstairs all the time. Why don't you just stay put and do something useful for a what's change? What's your problem? The house is drying up. Don't you understand? There's only a little bit left, and I need that. I can't risk you seeing the... Taking it away from me. Seeing what? Look, Susan, you're freaking me out. Been living with you for 15 years, but... I don't know who this is. Don't call me Susan. My name is Sophia. Hey, hey, handsome. Hey, long boy. What the hell are you doing? Take your hands off me. Look, I'm sorry. I don't even know why I did that. It's all right. It's, it's okay. Look, listen. Why don't you just go do some work in the basement, okay? I need a table saw. I don't have a table saw. Oh, honey, bada boom. Happy birthday. You got a table saw in the basement. You know, go ahead and check it out. It's down there waiting for you, all nice and packaged with a big red bow. You probably think I'm too old for you, but I'm only 32. You can say you're 80 if you'd like. It don't matter to me. <laughs> so, where's this box you're talking about? Upstairs, in the bedroom. Shh! 
Susan! Susan, open the door. I thought I heard something. Susan! I you wanted to rush. Come on, let's go on upstairs. Hurry up now. Now you just lay back and relax. Everything's going to feel so good when we're done. Are you kidding me? Michael! What are you doing? Nothing. You just get out of here, get all right? Out of here. Come here, you <laughs> piece of crap. No! No! Oh, you... Oh. you guys are messed up. No, 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 no. No, don't leave. Don't leave. No, come on back. Don't worry about him. I'll take care of him. Come on back, please. really didn't want to have to use the last drop on you. <sighs> Concentrate, Michael. This is the list of things I need for you to pick up at the store. Here, take it. Now, come on. <sighs> Michael. Is there something wrong, Michael? Yeah. I forgot to do something. Well, what is it? Maybe I can help you with it. I'm all right. No big deal. All right. No, so come on. I'll be right back. Yeah. All right, go on, come on. What? Oh. I'll be right back. Michael. What do you need from there? Oh, I'll go check the oil in the truck. Just want to get a rag. Oh, no. You are not going to use our nice towels for that. We have rags in the kitchen. Come on. What did you want me to get from the store again? Ay, Malaka. I gave you the list, remember? Oh, yeah. Forgot. Here. Jeez. That well, shouldn't be too long. I did kind of want to look around some new projects. Maybe get involved. I'm sick and tired of that damn factory. Tell you what, though. Big house. Never thought about kids. What do you think? We can start tonight. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry, Michael. This really is for the best. There just isn't enough left for two people. Go to the store and get what's on the list. I'll be back. All right, all right. Baby. I'm gonna fix this. I promise. Hang in there, baby. I'm gonna fix this. Hang in there. Be right back.
Susan? 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 Susan, I can explain. Susan? My name is Sophia! Oh. Oh. What are you doing? Ah. Oh. Susan! Oh. Oh. Wait, ah. wait, listen to me. I can explain. Let go of me. Listen to me. Five years ago, I caught you in bed with another man. Listen, and I found out that wasn't your only lover. I hate you. No, listen, but that's not us. You're not Sophia, I'm not Evan. Those people owned the house before us, remember? Yeah, come here. Look. Look at these people. See how happy they are? That's us. You forgave me. But that just made things worse. I hated you even more. Mm -hmm. Sophia hated Evan. And then one night I waited until you were asleep. And I went to the kitchen and I grabbed a large knife. Oh, Michael. Michael, I went back too far. Michael, I nearly killed you. I'm hey, so hey, sorry. Listen, listen, look, that's us, okay? It's not your fault. Michael, Michael, we have to destroy that box. We have to destroy it. I can't seem to remember anything anymore. It's, it's like I read about my life in a book somewhere, and I hate you now. I don't know. Baby, we'll just throw the box. You'll disappear. I'm ready to go. I'm not going to give him the satisfaction. What else are we supposed to do? Beautiful day for a walk, don't you think? No. No, I'm not going to let you die. No, Michael, no. We have to destroy the box. Susan, I'm already dead. You know, I don't remember most of my life. Both of us are bound to that frickin' box. I know if we destroy it, we'll vanish. Let's go out on our own terms, not his. It really is a nice day for a walk. You ready? You know you're beautiful no matter who you are. <laughs> and you, sir, are a charmer. I only wish I could have gotten to know you better. You know, I am sorry. 
No, I'm sorry for almost trying to kill you. <laughs> you warned me about not going back past 30 years, but I just couldn't help myself. Yeah, you just, let's just quit blaming each other. It's his fault. Just remember to get things. You ready? But one thing, now, why would he even tell us about the 30 years? Why do I, why even think about that? I don't listen to me. I mean, he didn't care about what happened to our lives. I mean, just, hey, party on. Use up all the energy you want to. Things only got bad was when we went further. Yeah, well, maybe he enjoys having people do things to themselves like that. I mean, that's what happened to us. We just kept getting in deeper and deeper. I'm not quite ready yet. Come on. He said he could remember when these houses were being built. I didn't think about it at the time. I just thought he was a crazy old man, but he's been around a while. Well, if he is who we think he is, he's been around a lot longer than that. Yeah, and why us? You know, he knew the house. And why warn us about going past 30 years? I don't know. I want to run an experiment. Well, if it has anything to do with the box, I don't want to do it. No, listen. Go back further. To the beginning. I want to know what he knows. Okay? Yeah. Yeah, I'll set the alarm. Let's do this. It didn't work before. True, but we got two boxes now. We should have destroyed the box, not bury it. But we would have died. Oh, that's the beauty of it. We're not them. They're bound to their box. We're bound to ours. Well, he's still not going to let us destroy it. Besides, we don't know what good it'll do anyway. Trust me. Sorry I made a deal with that man 150 years ago. Oh, well, honey, you're just trying to save my life. I did the same for you. I'm in no mood to talk to you right now. We need a new box. Oh. All right, I'll go get it. Mrs. Miller, I've come to collect. Michael! Michael, he's coming! Oh no, Michael, what are we gonna do? Michael! Michael! Michael, what did you do? What did you do? Michael! What did you do, Michael? I'm gonna destroy it. No, but now you're bound to the old box as well. Why? You too. Be feeling pretty confident. Get the knife. Go hide. I got this. Hi, Paul. Hi. I've been here since the very beginning. The earth is my prison. I'm bound to it. Just like you are bound to this house. Only I'm here forever. God is the keeper of my box. 
down here, Mr. Gordon. What exactly do you expect to accomplish? I'm going to throw the box. Michael, have I ever lied to you? No, really. Have I ever lied to you? I warned you against going past 30 years. And you see how that turned out. And then your own wife tried to kill you. Oh, you can't destroy that box. The two of you will vanish. <laughs> and I can't say where you'll end up or what torments you'll face. But it will happen. Well, I'll take my chances. Michael, there's another way, you know. Just give me a second. All those feelings, all those memories you two have used up in this house, it's energy and it's been returned to the box. I need that energy. Michael, now, if I take the box, you two will cease to exist. But now that you've found the old box, that's right, the old box. Oh, I can sense that box. I've just been waiting for someone to dig it up, so thank you, Michael. We're not interested in any more of your deals. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. But I'm afraid your lives will have to end tonight. No! Susan, no! no! Oh, oh. Susan! You bastard. Susan! She'll be dead by morning. Unless we use the old box on her. Give me the energy from this box. I'll spare the two of you your lives. I'll give you the use of the old box. Oh, the old box. It goes hundreds of years back. Oh, and it's not bound to any house. It's Bound to the land. <sighs> You're doing the right thing, Michael. <sighs> yeah. But I never intended on destroying the new box. Oh, no! There you are. Oh, we were worried about you. How you feeling? Where am I? You in St. Francis Hospital, honey. Just try to relax, <sighs> calm down. You are lucky to be alive. It's not every day somebody fights a battle like that and survives. Battle? Cancer. You are lucky your neighbors called the police. Why would they call the police? Uh, right. I, I just need you to calm uh, down, try to relax. Now, I need to ask you a couple questions, and you're going to sound a little silly. You ready? Okay. Can you remember your name? I'm Susan Miller. How old are you? Fifty-two. Do you have any relatives? No, my parents died about eight years ago. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. What about your husband? Well, I, I don't know. I isn't okay. he here? He, sh he right. should be here. All right, all right. Now, Dr. Patel is going to come in in a few minutes, and he's going to talk to you about your bone marrow transplant procedure. But in the meantime, Officer O'Malley has a couple of questions, okay? I brought you a few things in case you want to freshen up. All right. <sighs> oh, you look just fine, honey. Just fine. I'll be right back, okay?
Hello, ma'am. My name is Officer O'Malley. I have a few questions to ask you, then I promise I'll let you get some rest. Is this about my husband? I'm afraid so. What was the last thing you remember? Well, we had had an argument. Dr. Patel had called to tell us that the bone marrow donor had changed her mind, and I told him that I was just done. And Well, we argued, and I went to bed. Is he okay? Did you speak to Dr. Patel yourself? Well, yes, officer. What, what happened to Michael? Well, Dr. Patel says he hasn't spoken to you for a month. He left you several messages. He says you're lucky to be alive in your condition. I, I, I'm sorry, officer. I don't understand. A month? Mrs. Miller, do you recognize this? No. Well, the nearest we can figure, he, your husband was digging in the basement, and he must have struck this. Now, our, our lab, the people at our lab, have no idea what this, this is. Do you know what your husband was looking for? Mrs. Miller. Is he gone? We think so. We can't locate him anywhere. And the way the, the windows were, were shattered, there was some sort of explosion. It is a very unusual case. Well, what do we do now, officer? Well, there's some other tests we can run. We can. Just a minute. May I help you? Mrs. Miller. Mm -hmm. I'm from the insurance company. We spoke over the phone. Oh, yes, please come right in. Gabe Marshall. Nice to finally meet you. I'm so sorry for your loss. Thank you. Uh, would you like to sit down? Yes, please. Well, can I get you anything? Oh, no, no. I, this really won't take very long. Uh, as I said over the phone, the, normally the state requires seven years to, you know, to determine whether a missing person is legally dead. But in your case, because of the explosion, the court puts the pressure on us to prove that he's still alive. Well, we've done our due diligence, but really, we work hard to provide people with the help they need the most when they need it the most. So, if you wouldn't mind signing that right here, and then initials here and here, then I can provide you with this check for $100,000 from your husband's insurance policy. Thank you. I really appreciate it. The money doesn't matter to me. I just want some closure. I understand. Speaking of closure, I would like to take the opportunity to show you a little something. Have you ever seen a box like that? No. What is it? Good. How about this man? Have you ever seen that man before? Can't say I have. Great. That is Stan Gordon. He's sort of a rogue agent. 
he has been known to target some of our clients and uh, offer them a box like this in exchange for their policy money. Well, what does the box do? Oh, well, that's not really important. The thing is that we have been trying to locate this man to no avail. So we have alerted the authorities, but uh, <laughs> I'm sorry to, to take up all this time, but if you do happen to come across him, I would really appreciate it if you if you contacted me personally. Okay? Well, all right. My card is in the envelope. Well, thank you so much for coming by. Uh, this box is never supposed to leave the lab. Are you moving? Oh, well, just temporarily. A little closer to the hospital while I finish my treatment. Oh. I am so sorry about your husband. You know, I could tell as soon as I walked in this house, he loved you very much. And I would say, I, <laughs> if I had to guess, I'd say that his accident was probably the result of an unselfish act as opposed to a selfish one. That's very kind of you. You know, I, I do feel like I'm going to see him again someday. I wouldn't be surprised. <sighs> Thank you again, Mr. Marshall. 